Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video really quickly. I'm in my room trying on different outfits. I have this turtleneck on and I was just like, all right, I want to wear a turtleneck. I don't know which turtleneck, but I'm just going to show you guys ways to style a turtleneck. Let's start off with this one right here. This is this white turtleneck. I did show it in one of my hauls, my Shein haul. I'll have it linked right here along. I'm sure most of my, I do believe most of my turtlenecks were from Shein. So you can check that video out in the description box. All the links are there. So yes. I got this white turtleneck from Shein. I paired it with these pleather pants. I believe I got them from either Zara or Pretty Little Thing. They have this amazing slit on the side, which I just love. And then I paired it with these boots, these creamish boots that I got from Misguided. Um, I love the square toe box of these boots. It's like these boots are kind of, you know, sophisticated in a sense, but because it's a square toe, it just makes it a little more casual. I didn't want something that was, you know, very classy, which is when you would go for a pointed toe shoe or boot. So I went with the square toe boots and I just love this fit. Something neutral, something comfortable. These pants are really comfortable because it has this stretchy top right here. And this top is just so, so soft, so, so soft. And I just, I'm loving this fit guys. Another thing I want to point out really quickly with a turtlenecks is just I love that you can accessorize it right like you put on a necklace any kind of chain and it stands out because the neck is up here and whatever color you use the necklace or your chain will just pop. Because it is chilly outside I would just pair it with this teddy coat that I got from Dubai. I believe it was the mango store in Dubai in the Dubai mall. I've had this for years guys. It's amazing. It's held up very, very well. Don't be afraid of cream or whitish coats. Yes, you have to be a little careful, but don't be afraid to pick one up. They just look stunning. Next, we have something a little more casual. And all I did here was I took the exact same white turtleneck um, from Shein. I paired them with my Zara jeans. I love the wash of these jeans. It's like this perfect um, blue washed jean. It does have like a little slit right in the front and I love the added, you know, kind of texture and vibe of it. And then I just paired them with my Sam Edelman loafers. I love the color. If you want something that, or you want to just add a little pop of color, I say either do it with a handbag or do it with some shoes like I did here. Then I just paired it with my Brandon Blackwood ESR tote bag. So if you notice here, you may be able to see, but this just this does have some silver um, metal here, and then my shoes are gold, and I kept this necklace on because I was going for that mixed metal vibe. So the necklace, like I said prior, has the gold and the silver, and I just love the look of it, very casual very comfortable and with any of these styles that i'm showing you let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite and then i would probably pair it with this lightweight so this jacket is very lightweight i got it from zara and i would probably pair this outfit with this jacket right here with this jacket i want to show you guys a little something that i do so as you can see right here it does look you know not plain but to me it does look a little plain with my sleeves like this so what i do just so that my top stands out a little more and so that it gives the jacket a different look is i usually just bring my sleeves down a little bit like this and then it just instantly changes the look of this jacket with the sleeves okay now let's talk business casual and that is the look that i have going on here once again, the same exact white turtleneck that I've been sharing. And I just have this black blazer that I picked up from Zara. I picked this up last year. Um, it started, or not that it started, but it now fits me a little shorter on the arms. So what I did was I took my sleeve from underneath and I rolled it over to give this look. So now it's more of a three quarter length blazer. I paired it with my Zara skinny jeans. These are so, so comfortable. If I can find them, I will have them linked in the description box. And then I just paired them here with my heels. I think I got these from Public Desire, if I'm not mistaken. And I love how, I don't wanna say extra, but how fun they are. They're very sparkly, but they're very 
comfortable. So if you're in a business and you're going for that business casual look, but yet you're gonna be walking around and you wanna be comfortable, these are the heels for you guys. These are so, so comfortable. Before I talk about this little pop of color that I would add to my outfit, I do wanna mention that if you were to wear a belt, I would say to go for a more skinny, small, black belt and you can do any buckle once again because i've used this necklace i would go with any buckle if you're going for more of that silver hardware then i would obviously use a silver um buckle or gold then just change it up that way for a pop of color i would pair my shane justin handbag i just love the look of a white top with blue jeans a black blazer and red for the pop of color i want to share with you guys my lifesaver like i was getting ready to change out and i was like let me just show them this thing so i put this on especially when i have like a white top on and what i do is i just take my it off like this and I really don't have to worry because my makeup is safe literally look at this top see that there's like no makeup anywhere and let me flip it for you so you can see anywhere guys that thing is just amazing and I just wanted to share it with you guys okay so let's talk about this outfit right here as you can see I swapped out my turtleneck I now have on a black turtleneck this one is also from Shein I kept the necklace because I just love how fun it is and how versatile it is I can wear any hardware that I want with it and then I just paired it with these vinyl leggings I believe I got these from boohoo maybe about two years ago now and then I just paired them with my chunky boots and I have here my Le Parmentier handbag guys I've talked about this on my channel I just love it it can be used top handle it can be used as a shoulder bag crossbody and as a backpack because you have these three pieces right here which helps you turn it into a backpack but I wanted a all black outfit for two reasons so all black is just a look you can never go wrong with all black or like the creamish white outfit that I showed you in the beginning but also I wanted to point out that if you are looking to look taller elongate your legs then I would say that this is a look that you would want right so you have the high-waisted leggings which makes your torso and your legs just look like one so it makes you look longer as well as the shoes being black it doesn't cut you off anywhere so it just gives that illusion of just length and then you have the turtleneck so with the turtleneck it kind of just brings the entire thing up here so now it more looks like just one you look longer and you look taller because it's just one you don't have like your neck being cut off with like a crew neck per se yes I, I kind of rambled off a little bit but I did want to let you guys know that that is why I went with this look and then for the jacket I would use my black Zara blazer this is a little bit on the thicker side so it kind of just helps with the fact of not having to wear a jacket so that's why I love wearing like thicker blazers during the winter spring months so yeah I would pair it with this black blazer right here and of course let me not forget my handy dandy bag right here okay guys so to change up the entire look I am going to throw on this oversized t-shirt and just like that like if you didn't want something more you know dressy like that blazer and the turtleneck then you can go for a look something a little more fun by just pairing this oversized t-shirt and then of course you can leave it out like this or you can do maybe like a side tuck something like that or maybe let's just see so I have a mirror right there if you see me or maybe you can do like a back tuck I have an entire video on ways to tuck your shirt but you can do what's called a back tuck so you kind of tuck it and in the back like that kind of giving some extra material in the front for a look like that you can do so much with an oversized shirt and that is why I like them but the point of this video 
are turtlenecks so I just love this look it's so so comfortable guys I feel so comfortable and so free I also want to show you guys that when I purchase turtlenecks especially black or white turtlenecks I purchase multiple so I have another black turtleneck right here I believe this one yes yeah, so this one was from H&M um, and then I picked up this one this one I got from Zara and I love this one because it's turtleneck but it's also sleeveless so if you had something where you know you really can't layer it because it's tight already then you may want to look at getting turtlenecks that are sleeveless another look that you may like is this black turtleneck but then pair it with a sweatshirt like I have here this is a little bit oversized I do have it tucked in in the back kind of to give this vibe and I just love it also another very comfortable and easy to wear outfit and style and kind of like what I showed you with the khaki trench coat I would say to pull the sleeves out like that to kind of just bring the entire outfit together to bring the turtleneck and to show that there's probably some sleeves going on here I would bring it out of the sweatshirt like that in case you're wondering what handbag I would wear with this I would probably use my white I'm just jumping in right here to point out that it is actually a yellow handbag I said white but it's yellow palm angels handbag with this just to kind of bring the yellow out in this sweatshirt right here okay next outfit is this outfit right here same black turtleneck you'll probably see this in a couple other outfits and then I just have this button up top right here that I got from boohoo these khaki pants which I just love they're so comfortable they're like that paper bag style kind of pants from Zara guys I love Zara I don't shop on Zara enough one not because I want to but because Zara just always sells out of stuff and two because it's hard getting to a Zara next to me it's about maybe 45 minutes away and I just don't understand like the times when it comes to COVID um but yeah I just don't get to shop Zara enough but I love these pants and then once again I just paired them with the cream boots that I got from misguided guys I love this outfit I love how it looks um, I just love the ease and the neutralness of it even though you have this print right here the entire thing is still kind of neutral and to be honest I still will probably throw the whole entire thing off by adding this orange Telfar bag right here because I just love that pop I love adding a little pop of color whenever I can and I just love this outfit I also want to point out that if you don't like this right here because I don't have the top button at all if you don't like that look this is an oversized top so you can wear a shirt like this more so like an oversized throw over top like this guys and I could just show you so much because that's the fun thing about wearing a turtleneck with a button down top is you can probably just tie it right here like that and kind of leave it open you could probably tie it in the middle you can tie the entire thing up like that and probably just tuck it in you could do a lot when it comes to a turtleneck top and a button down top like this I wanted to show you guys an, a prime example of an outfit where I would probably use a turtleneck without sleeves and it is this so I wanted to and I love actually pairing loungewear or like sweatsuits with turtlenecks because it just changes up the look of it and it keeps me warm but in a situation like this where your set is on the more fitted side you wouldn't want to wear sleeves so this you may not notice or you may notice but it's very uncomfortable like I feel like I have too many layers on and that is because the sleeves are too fitted to one another so the top one isn't really straight in and the bottom one they're just all twisted everywhere so I would definitely recommend if your set is more on the fitted side go with a turtleneck that does not have sleeves however I love the look of this so I just have this set on this is actually from my boutique shop Carla Simon and then I kept on the black turtleneck and I paired it with some chunky boots 
So to go outside, of course, you need a jacket or blazer of some sort. So I just threw on my black blazer right here. With this black bag, just to bring more of the black out because there is a lot of green and I wanted, I didn't want to mute the green, but I just wanted to do more of like black and green. So I would pair it with this black handbag right here. Next, if you're into dresses more, this may be an option for you. I just have this leather dress that I picked up from Target. Still have that black turtleneck on. I paired it with some tights right here and then I just kept the chunky boots on. I feel like these chunky boots can go with everything. I know some people have their thoughts around chunky boots. Some people are over chunky boots at this time. I, however, still love chunky boots and if you do as well then I think it pairs beautifully with a dress and then I just have my Telfar handbag here and I do have it in the chocolate color I wanted more brown so I went with a brown handbag and yeah guys this is so comfortable like I said if you're if you don't care much for leggings or jeans or if it's religion wise and you just wear skirts or dresses then this may be an option for you next we have this cute little fit right here same little turtleneck and then I have this pleather skirt that I picked up from H&M I love the color of this kept on the same tights and of course still the chunky boots I have this hat on which I got from Fashion Nova. I don't even know the names of these hats. I don't even know if I have it on correctly. I just love how this looks. And then I would pair it with my coach handbag right here, mostly because one, the black, and I also love the gold hardware here and just the look of it. It just gives like this 90s kind of vibe, which I just love paired with this. So yeah, this is how this outfit would go also once again if you're someone who doesn't like wearing jeans or leggings this may be an option for you and on the warmer spring months or fall months you may want to just wear it without a blazer but on those colder months or days you may just want to pair it with a blazer like I did here for me I chose this blazer I do have other blazers I chose this blazer because of the hardware I wanted something that stuck out a little more and this blazer just did that for me so yeah this is the blazer that I got from Zara okay so this is the last outfit which I finally decided to change my turtleneck I went for this more mauve pink kind of top also from Shein as you can see also a turtleneck but I also changed my necklace because I wanted something more simple and dainty so I went with this simple necklace and then I just paired it with these bright bright pink pants that I got from Forever 21 and then I just have on my black boots so these boots are the exact same ones like the cream ones that I've shown from Misguided and I would pair it with my Chanel Jumbo ignore this little felt piece right here um, this is just how I store my bags so I would pair it with my Chanel Jumbo and I just love this look very businessy I decided to wear these shoes in case you know if you're walking around a lot then you want something comfortable and like I said these boots are very 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 comfortable and I will show you how I would pair this with the blazer so here's the entire look with the blazer and I just love it guys I've said this before I've said this throughout my channel I love a blazer a blazer will bring your entire outfit together or it can even elevate an outfit so if you don't have a blazer get your hands on a blazer I would say start off with a more neutral one maybe black or white or maybe even like a more you know brownish kind of color and more neutral because then you can wear them with multiple outfits just to help elevate your outfit like I said or bring it all together I will say one thing about this outfit right here I pointed it out in the beginning of this video these boots so even though I love this outfit, I feel like if I wanted to elevate it a little more, I would still wear black shoes, but I would change into a shoe that has more of a pointy heel so that it's very, very classy and very kind of like, I don't know, sophisticated in a sense. I would change out these heels to a more pointy toe because the square toe definitely makes it a little more casual. It doesn't make the outfit look bad. It's just that pointy heels or pointy boots would maybe elevate it a little bit more so yeah guys these are all the turtleneck outfit style or ways to style that i wanted to share with you guys 
please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. See you in the next video.